Concreting of the dome of the outer protective shell of the first power unit has been completed at the Kursk C2 construction site. This reinforced concrete structure is one of the barriers protecting the reactor plant from extreme external influences. The dome of the outer protective shell was assembled by stage. First, the components of each of the six tiers were made, mounted, and concreted. In total, more than 4,000 cubic meters of concrete were poured in the dome of the outer protective shell. The concrete is high strength, strength class B60. For understanding, ordinary housing is constructed with concrete B20-B25, a self-compacting mixture capable of spreading under the influence of gravity was used. This composition ensures fast installation, speeds up construction time, and is evenly distributed in the reinforced concrete structure. Specialists carried out quality control of the concrete mix throughout the entire process. The work had to be completed in 225 days. About 80 people worked at the facility every day. Employees corrected the task twice as fast as the deadline while maintaining the quality of work. It was possible to realize this thanks to the introduction of Osser systems and the optimization of grippers. That is, the deck shields were increased, thereby reducing the number of concrete grippers. We have changed the approach to the preparation time of the working shoe up, thereby optimizing the preparation process, parallel the process of installing the deck. As a result, the building of the first power unit reached a height of 65 meters. Its diameter is almost 27 meters, and the wall thickness is 1,500 millimeters. The next stage of work is the installation of a deflector and an air duct in passive heat removal systems. After that, the mark of 75 meters will be reached. This is the highest point of the reactor building. That is, it has almost reached its design dimensions. Another important stage in the construction of the Kursk replacement station is the completion of concreting the shell of the second tallest cooling tower. There are two of them in total, and each is 179 meters long. Which can be compared with the height of about 2.5 meters from the giant towers of the Moscow Kremlin. The evaporative cooling tower is a giant reinforced concrete heat exchanger. It is used to remove heat from turbine condensers. The water circulates in a closed loop, cooling and condensing the steam spent in the turbine. In fact, exhaust towers perform the same function as reservoirs. They dissipate excess heat into the atmosphere, which is released when water is cooled. In total, it took 14,000 cubic meters of concrete mix to concretize the shell of one cooling tower. Concrete is hydrotechnical, as it is generally a hydraulic structure. It is the hydraulic structure that is its unique properties. It is its water resistance, because water cooling will take place through this facility, which will be supplied after cooling the reactor and here for dispersion. It took specialists two years and one month to build the tower. The shell is built only in summer, when the temperature is not lower 5 degrees Celsius. Since there is some kind of heating on the structure, but only electric is possible here. It is not allowed because it adversely affects the quality of concrete and the construction period per year can be a maximum of six months. Well, again, depending on whether the year is warm or not. Work was done non-stop and the cooling tower of the second power unit was constructed more quickly than the first. On average, 100 people worked at the facility, 50 during the day and the same number on the night shift. Between 50 and 70 cubic meters of concrete were poured daily. There is only one technology. The shell is concreted up to a certain point with concrete pumps and used only with the help of a tower crane, which raises the concrete up to the concreting mark level. Experience, well-coordinated team, proper management, organization with a trusted supply of materials. The evaporative cooling tower of the replacement station is capable of cooling up to 160,000 cubic meters of water per hour. The design service life is 100 years. Now, the builders are faced with the task of installing inside the cooling tower. Further, only precast reinforced concrete is assembled inside the cooling tower and supply water pipes are installed water pipeline along the perimeter of the shell itself, an irrigation device. 
directly on which the water will descend after irrigation and hot water entering the shell itself. And then they will start applying a primer, painting a coating that protects the surface of the tower from high humidity and low temperatures. At the Kurs KS2 site, construction and installation specialists from the Titan II concern are completing the construction of rolling tracks between the first and second power units. Simply put, these are rails. Such structures are necessary for the movement of bulky goods. The rolling paths are designed to transport block transformers instead of mounting, that is, into these oil collectors, and also directly for transportation from the first plant to the second plant. They will be needed during the operation of a nuclear power plant, that is, in the case of replacing transformers from the first power unit to the second, they will be designed for this purpose. 40 employees installed rolling paths at the first turbine building for six months. We accepted about 1,200 cubic meters of concrete. At the moment, 685 cubic meters of concrete have been accepted in the rolling path. Further work is being carried out on the construction of a rolling path towards the second pier. So it's all going to be a common path? This will be a common path from the first major to the second. In total, the length of the rail is 618 meters. After installing the track, they were tested using a special trolley. Then geodetic works were carried out and the rail sleeper grid was leveled. At the moment, the grounding of the tracks is being completed. Currently, work is underway on 156 sites at the construction of the replacement station. In August this year, the number of specialists on the construction site of Kursk and PP2 was more than 8.5 thousand people. They were once professionals, not the first station behind them. They worked out everything masterfully and competently. The Kursk site is of strategic importance for the country's nuclear industry. The power units of the Kursk and PP2 are pilot units being built according to the Vertoy project. They have improved technical and economic indicators. Compared with other power units, the Vertoy project significantly reduces the cost of construction, timing, and operating costs. The capacity of each power unit will increase by 25% compared to the power units of the current Kursk NPP. Tatyana Savinkova, with the support of the Information and Public Relations Department of the Kursk NPP, Vesti Kursk.